Hello. Hello, mate. It's Jake calling from Faz Amnesty. Hello, mate. We're just outside the uh, Upton Road, just on the corner. Faz Amnesty is a mobile weapons amnesty. Um, it's aimed at getting knives off the younger children in the streets. We took 674 knives off the street. Still there. Easy. Chill, man. Sorry about that. Appreciate it, mate. You're best though, yeah? Appreciate it. Life crime right now in London is at all-time high. Every single day you go on the internet, and you go on the papers, you're seeing young people being killed and murdered. I was stabbed on two separate occasions, nine times each time. It's a personal fight now, and I don't want no young child, especially my child, to experience what I experienced. If somebody wants to get in touch with me to hand the weapon in, um, they'd contact me via the social media platforms. Once I've established all the deals, I make arrangements to make the collection. Yo, yeah, cuz, um, I saw what, where are you getting these nice from? They're just little kids running around, innit? Yeah? Yeah, and uh, I'm just seeing them flash them about, acting all big and all that shit. I'm just going up to them, no, give them to me, give them to me, man. Yeah. Nah, bruv, you, bruv, you're doing good work, good man. Work. What is that? Oh, that's it's a car that homemade. Work. Look at that, That's still yeah, F your life out, man. <laughs> Do you know what, yeah, when yeah, you just see... Just to show you, if they can't buy them, they're going to make them no matter what anyway. Mm. I mean... But, bruv, that'll kill you. Oh, yeah. That's the bottom line. Like, sure. Do you know what, you got to think, like, you see little nice like that? Yeah. The way you can hide that... Oh, yeah, you... Do you know what I mean? You yeah. can, you, like, somebody get fixed with that. I do know that, um, me taking that to the street, I know it's not the only solution, but I do believe it's a contribution to a solution. See, the reason I go to the police station straight away now is because the police weren't comfortable with me having the weapons in the house. Oh, oh wow. Yes, yeah, so I was leaving the bag there. Um, there's, there's two, like, machetes. Yeah, brilliant. But thanks for the assistance, right. appreciate right. it. Right. Cheers, right. thank you. So from the police station, I believe that the knives are then processed and then they're given to an organisation called Steel Warriors, who then take the knives, melt them down, and turn them into outdoor gyms for the children. So every, every three months, I go to the, to the police warehouse and I pick up three boxes. And then how much knives do you need to build a gym? A ton, yeah. So practically, that, this, is, this would be like a gym here, sitting here. Sick. Yeah. Crazy. Look at this, man. What the hell is this? Bro. That's... Like, yo. And the, the weight of this, yeah? Yeah, yeah, that, that's Crazy. what I'm saying. To think that someone would even think of carrying that. See this here? Yeah. This is the exact same knife that I got stabbed with. Exactly like this. All silver kitchen knife out of a restaurant, bro. So I, so I say in it, kitchen knives, they're just as bad. A lot of the knives I take of the street, like, they're all these designer knives. Bro, it's funny you say that. Look, even if I'm just looking at this now, look, the top knives, that is not a kitchen knife. That is not a kitchen knife. Look at this. See what that? Is this? That's only designed for one purpose. This whole ton was during the first lockdown. Before I started this work at Steel Warriors, you, I, you I, I knew that crime was an issue, but I never knew it was at this magnitude. This is like a... Bro, this is a real pandemic. I know COVID is there, but the real pandemic is this. I think it's over here and he's flat on the left. Hello. Hi, brother. I'm downstairs, you know? All right, give me one minute. I'll be there, yeah? When I do knife collections, I have a dog who's trained in protection. That's what's with our territory, you know? How are children going to survive on this street? Why do you think we are at risk take, taking a knife to the police? On the way to the police station, you can get stopped. So, the police need to make the kids feel safer. That's the only way they're going to get any information, anything at all. Them two knives there, to me, bruv, that could technically be preventing someone from going in jail. Yeah. Or preventing a young man from being murdered, you understand? Definitely. So... I'm very passionate about knife crime. It's affected me very badly, but I found a way to turn the negative into a positive. Pick a Trade Not A Blade is an organisation that's been set up to give individuals a way out of gang culture, knife crime, drug dealing. Yes! What's, What's going, going on, on bro? You good? We've got employers 
um, that are offering fully paid apprenticeships, um, and we will teach them a trade that they can then make their own. I'm all good, my brother. What's work, team? Yeah, it's all good, bro. Yeah? yeah? So tell me the truth, bro. What's the early mornings like? Good, mate. I feel like you see more of the day. You get productive. Yeah? Just not laying in bed. Perfect. I've known Harrison since he was a, a young kid. He's a good kid, and he was going down the wrong path. I've been a victim of knife crime. And I've lost my closest friend to knife crime. Doesn't matter if you're holding it or you're on the receiving end of what's about to come. It's, there's nothing but heartache and misery. It's a tough one. When I lost my best friend, I wanted to go and commit absolute mayhem. But if it hadn't been for the people that I had around me, I honestly don't know where I would be right now. We've, we've supplied four individuals with jobs so far. We're allowing you to make money, legit money. And at the same time, you're building your future.